If you saw my first video on the shadow, then you'll know that we have this other archetype called the golden shadow. If you haven't seen that video of this sequel yet, I highly recommend pausing this one, jumping over there quick and giving that one a watch. I have linked it up on the screen so you can easily hop there and we will be here when you get back. Like the shadow archetype, the golden shadow are also repressed parts of our personalities. But the reasons why that these parts of our personalities were repressed usually has to do with the way that we were reprimanded or told that we should or shouldn't be doing something. We were conformed to our societal standards and for one reason or another we were shamed for having these different parts of our personalities. Our golden shadow holds our unique gifts, our hidden potentials, and our withheld passions. To give you some examples to help think of some different ways you might have been shamed as a child with your different gifts is maybe someone told you you shouldn't be doodling on your homework, you need to stop doodling or dancing's for girls. Maybe someone told you you're not gonna get paid well. Find a real job. For one reason or another, we have these undeveloped amazing gifts that we have hidden within our subconscious. Deep-rooted self-doubt, limited belief in your own potential, fear, lack of risk-taking, early traumas, and even repressed due to social constructs and the need to have a certain level of discipline. When we embrace both our shadow and our golden shadow, we become a more authentic version of ourselves. We are bringing the unconscious into light and making it conscious. And in doing so, we have a more a deeper understanding of who we are. We live a more fulfilled and purpose-driven life. We become balanced and whole with a deeper sense of awareness and we practice more self-love and self-acceptance. With our self-actualization and realization, we increase our confidence, our self-esteem, our resilience, and even our imagination. Our creativity is heightened to a whole nother level when we are connected as a whole to our authentic selves in every part of our being. Keep in mind that we cannot find our golden shadow unless we dig deep for our shadows and bring them to light. It is through healing from our traumas, our emotional baggage, that we uncover the gold. It is almost like it's a reward for doing the deep, difficult inner work to heal our inner selves our inner child, and in turn, we get these amazing, unique gifts. We reject and we disown both positive and negative aspects of ourselves. What we'll tend to do is, as it's difficult for us to see within ourselves these aspects of ourselves, whether they are positive or negative, it's a lot easier for us to see these aspects on other people. So we will project these hidden parts of our personality onto others. We either admire or we judge others for these positive or negative qualities. But when we heal from our past traumas, we are claiming these unique gifts as our own. We are allowing ourselves to shine outward for the world to see. The golden shadow is a link, a direct link to our soul's purpose. Our unique gifts are just that. They are unique. They are ours. They are in direct accordance with our soul. When we come here, our mission is kind of to unlock what our purpose is. And to do so, we have to do the deep healing work. Then we're basically rewarded with our hidden talents. We're gonna look at three different ways that you can uncover what your golden shadow is. So the first one will be analyzing and observing what it is that you admire in others. For example, maybe you admire someone for their phenomenal public speaking skills, or someone for their unlimited generosity. Or maybe you have a friend that has the best sense of humor and you admire these attributes in them. You can see yourself living a more fulfilled life if you had these qualities yourself. On the flip side, observe whenever you feel envy or jealousy, self-doubt or judgment towards someone else. Most of the time, we were we had these traits that we expressed as children and we were repressed in one way or another. We had to push these feelings down, so we subconsciously tried to push them down in others. We weren't allowed to express it ourselves, so we have a hard time seeing others who are freely expressing 
what is inherently a part of our own soul. Maybe you feel a little bit jealous when you come across someone that's artistically talented, or you feel self-doubt when you see someone with great leadership and cooperation skills. Maybe you feel judgmental when you see someone going after their consistent fitness goals. Understanding why you feel negative emotions towards someone shining and being themselves can help you uncover what your golden shadow attributes are. Another method that we can use is to analyze our insecurities. Where we feel most insecure is usually our biggest strength that we can unlock. When we feel that intense emotion of insecurity, usually means because it means a lot to us. It is our part of us and we were hurt that we had to repress it. We were repressing a part of who we are. That's a painful experience to have. So feeling insecure about something, an attribute about yourself and an attribute about someone else that you feel like you would benefit from can help you uncover what your golden shadow is. Maybe you think that you're not intelligent just because you didn't do well in brick and mortar school or didn't go to college. Possibly your communication skills aren't great because you were rejected in your friend groups. Deep down, these attributes are our wounded superpowers. Check out this video on the screen to continue unlocking your inner wisdom. Let's find your purpose together and step into your authentic self. I'll see you over there and stay blue.